Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today we are going to have the Unit 5 on your Smart English Book. Are you ready? Alright, so let's get started. So our topic today is about feelings feelings can you repeat after me feelings good now let's spell together f e e l i n g s feelings okay so what is feelings what is feelings when we say feelings it is an emotional state or reaction such as happy sad and others one more time an emotional state or reaction such as happy sad and others okay so we have some examples of feelings okay we have some examples of feelings number one it is excited okay can you read excited repeat after me excited or excited what is excited it is a feeling in which a person feels eagerness about something such as a trip look at the picture so this is a picture of a person that is excited okay maybe she's excited for the outing excited for the project excited to go to school so it is excited so let's have the example she is excited okay she is excited next we have interested interested we read this interested not interested it is interested so what is interested interested it is a feeling it is a feeling that showing curiosity concern or attention okay it is a feeling that showing curiosity concern or attention look at the picture so the boy is interested showing something eagerness okay or curiosity so the boy is interested about the traveling okay she's he is interested to travel to travel around the world next we have bored bored what is bored bored it is a feeling where a person is not interested into something not interested okay remember not interested okay it is not interested into something now look at the picture so the boy is bored okay or the boy is too bored to study so he doesn't like to study he is too bored to study so the boy is too bored to study okay now let's go we have confused confused what is confused okay let's read it is a feeling where a person is 
having misunderstanding or having difficulty to see the difference of some things. One more time. It is a feeling where a person is having misunderstanding or having difficulty to see the difference of some things. Okay, I want you to look at the picture. So in this picture, they are confused. They don't know. Okay, they are confused. They don't understand. Okay, can you read the example? They are confused. Meaning, they don't understand. Okay, if you don't understand, then you are confused. Next, tired. Tired. What is tired? Tired, it is a feeling where a person is needing some sleep or rest need some sleep look at the picture look at the girl or the woman the woman is tired okay he, she needs some sleep so the woman is tired so she needs sleep or rest that is tired tired means need some sleep okay if you are tired then go to sleep next worried everyone can you read worried worried what is worried worried it is a feeling where a person is having concern about something might happen something might happen in the future so that is worried what will happen next so if you have feeling that you don't know what might happen tomorrow or the next day then you are worried let's look at the picture look at the boy the boy is worried okay the boy is worried about his grades okay so maybe the boy doesn't know that his grade are good or bad so he is worried okay worried next so we have amaze amaze okay can you read amaze what is amazed amaze mean it is a feeling where a person is surprised greatly or filled with wonder okay a person is surprised greatly or filled with wonder so i want you to look at picture okay she was amazed or she is amazed okay the girl was amazed by the new shoes okay the girl was amazed by the new shoes okay next embarrassed embarrassed everyone can you read embarrassed what is embarrassed it is a feeling where a person feels uncomfortable or ashamed remember feels uncomfortable or ashamed i want you to look at the picture this is an example of embarrassed or having red face that is embarrassed okay let's make the example let's read the example he was embarrassed by his action he was embarrassed by his action. Okay, do you understand? So we have eight 
vocabulary today we have excited, interested, bored, confused, tired, worried, amazed, and embarrassed. Now that you know the eight feelings of this topic, I want you to open your book on page uh, 6 a uh, 94 a uh, 97 i'm sorry 97 and 98 97 and 98 and answer this vocabulary so we had i'm tired i'm worried i'm amazed i'm embarrassed i'm confused i'm excited i'm bored i'm interested so you are going to match the answer okay just like that mm -hmm. and send me the answer okay thank you so much and see you on the next video bye